Hi, my name is Bill McPhee. I'm the CEO of Magpie Media Inc., your partner in mental wellness. Welcome to today's video blog. Today I had a question from uh, Don, and Don writes, he says, As a parent or friend, if you know someone with schizophrenia, what things can you do to be supportive of their recovery, especially if they have cognitive de deficits of not recognizing their own illness? Well, Don talks about not recognizing the old, the, their own illness and uh, what are some of the things that we can do do for about that. And first of all, let me tell you that lack of insight or insight into our illness is the nature of mental illness, is the nature of schizophrenia, is that people just don't believe that they're ill. Uh, for example, because of the paranoia and all of the coincidences that happen because of their delusions and, and their false ideas and, and the way that the illness, the, the mind plays uh, tricks on the mind, this illness uh, plays tricks on the mind, it's really subtle and it really, the things that we are experiencing really seems very real. So it's as if we can't really be talked about, uh, talked out of our psychosis or delusions now however in saying that is that um, most people when they're hit with this illness and family members they believe that they're the only ones who are going through this and that it has never happened to anyone in the whole world where in fact one out of one uh, one out of a hundred people will have schizophrenia and one out of five people will have a mental illness whether it be bipolar, depression, schizophrenia, obsessive compulsive disorder, anxiety attacks, panic attacks, these things like that. Um, so first of all, let's say you're not alone. There's a lot of people dealing with mental illness. And what happens, one of the ways that we can look at insight with a person is to actually try to educate them. First of all, we could say have a piece of paper and on one draw a line down the center of it. And on one side, say, how you were or what you were doing before you were ill or before so-called they told you you were ill. And so you'd write down, you know, your, your, your gifts, your talents, things you did well, your accomplishments, if you had a job, if you're in a relationship, uh, if you're in school doing good, doing well and everything like that. And then now on the other side, how are you doing now? You're not going to school. You, you're not, you haven't worked for a while. Uh, you're not socializing, you don't have many friends. And so people start understanding, yeah, well, that's true, and I'm really wondering why. The other thing that you can do as well is educate with through books and, say, DVDs. Um, if, you, uh, if your loved one is willing to watch a DVD and uh, that of other people's experiences, they will know, they will see that they've gone through the same experiences that they, they have and therefore be more open to discussion and the possibility of, yes, maybe I do have an illness. As well as books, there's many books out there that, that uh, describe people's experiences and, and uh, on the subject, and this person may say, yes, I can relate to that, and uh, that's me, and, and maybe really I do have an illness. So those are the things that I would suggest, is basically the, the, the Get a list uh, on a paper of how you were before you were ill and after you were ill. And then also start educating yourself and, and, and making the person watch certain things that they can relate to that would come to the conclusion that, yes, I've experienced the same things that these people have experienced as well. If you need uh, such uh, videos uh, like that or DVDs like that, just go to our new uh, website, uh, mentalwellnesstoday.com. And uh, you'll, you'll be able to find a, a number of uh, uh, DVDs on schizophrenia as well as uh, our magazine. So I encourage you to go to mentalwellnesstoday.com. And thank you for tuning into today's video blog. Have a great day.